Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, we were, well, possibly dealing with a bug and or glitch. Yep, still there. Uh, can't build defensive platforms at all. It's not good, but... That said, oops, I'm trying to increase the speed. Ah, uh, what? What? I come back and I'm faced with this? Smugglers on Camelot have introduced a new drug that we believe originated from somewhere in the pirate territories beyond civilized space. This drug is not only highly addictive, but it has also proven quite lethal to most life forms if consumed in anything but small quantities. Well, that is bad. While local authorities are doing what they can to stem the spread of this drug, there has been a rash of deaths all over the planet. Great. That's what I want to know. Oh, lovely! Because everyone died, the precinct house is ruined. Because there's not enough population to sustain it. Thank you, criminals. That was probably their idea. <sighs> Wonderful. Alright, well, what's the... Actually, you know what? The sanctuary has an... Wait, what? An unemployed ruler? What? Huh? Is there something I missed? There must be something I missed. Okay, whatever. Um, I was thinking, well, if they have an overpopulation, I could just move one of them over to Camelot to stem the problem, but apparently, because there's an additional ruler that shouldn't be there, same as on Camelot, an unemployed human ruler, again, this one has a lot longer of a time, don't know what happened, but here we are. Okay, well, when we left off, we were trying to, as I was trying to say, expand Science into the reports spots the that we still had not yet uh, been building towards. Words are hard. <laughs> I read some of this and then it screwed with my brain and my ability to make words. Research agreement broken between the Spuxlack Star Nation and the Polysimus Syndicate. Interesting. First time that's happened, clearly. Otherwise, it wouldn't have popped up. Okay. Trying to get back on topic. When we left off. <laughs> and when we tried uh, to get this episode started, I was trying to get the last little systems in our empire all squared away so that way we don't have to worry about that anymore. But there is still, you know, some standing threats and issues. Namely, the Stellarite Devourer here. And then there's the psychic entity, the psionic entity that's in this system that has blocked it off from being reached by anything other than a wormhole. So, we also have to deal with that. But, that's in the long run sort of, sort of thing. Blah, 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 blah. I can talk, really I can. I just haven't had caffeine yet, mainly because my coffee, first one I've had of the year, is a little too hot. There we go. A little bit of a sip. A little bit of caffeine. <laughs> Still a little too hot, though. Um, so, penal colonies. Through the development of special penal worlds, criminals can be rehabilitated through honest, hard labor. Some may be in need of permanent rehabilitation. Yep, that's good. Ooh! That's available, and that's good, but it would also take a while. But it would also unlock Unity Ambitions, which is also kind of good. Just not quite yet. Probably have to wait. 
for a little while. Key phrase, little while. Won't be too much longer. That said, um, what should I be doing? Resources from jobs up 5%. That would be good. Far more useful than habitability up 5%. So let's go with that. Thinking outside the box merely places you in another, somewhat larger box. Well, let's go a little bigger, shall we? Sutherian Entity has declared the Pestilisimus Syndicate their rival. That's fair, I guess. Camelot is now kind of dealt with? Can I? They do complete. have a 50th. Okay, good. I can repair this then. Deal with the crime problems. Finally. Jesus. All right. Complete the star base. Where were you? Over here. Okay, cool. No, you're not returning yet. You are building everything there. And then you're going to move over to here and get this one squared away. Unless for some reason you stop wanting to respond to my button presses. Okay, you're over here. All right. That's the one. Um, yeah, let's move to this one. And then you were doing... Oh, you were doing a cleanup of things that I should have focused on but didn't. That makes sense. Okay. And then I guess I'll move you to near Starbase after you're done with that. That should work. All right. I just noticed something new in the Galactic Community itinerary. Repealing this. Oh. Everyone's against it. <laughs> well, everyone's against having the research sanctions and is very much in support of repealing it, is what I should say. Jeepus. Okay. Um, that's a problem. <laughs> But that's something we can do with independent tribunals. Um, I think we already saw that. Repeal minor, minor military sanctions. There we go. Alright. That should be good enough, I think. And hopefully... Camelot will start getting back on track with that. Um, still losing crystals. Not nearly at the rate we used to be, but still losing them at a rate I'm not comfortable with. Hmm. Dawnlight... What was going to be the last building I put on Dawnlight? Oh, crime is a big issue. So I guess I'll go with another freaking... Another freaking precinct house. Because I'm going to need all of them now. Boy. Alright. Um, build a couple more city districts. Mainly because I need housing for jobs that I definitely need to get taken care of. Okay, they're at 55, 52. They're at 100%. Excuse me for a moment. I need to deal with my throat. Okay, now we are back, and we've got Felon Day getting rid of a farming district to then build a city district, because I just noticed we do not have enough housing for the jobs need. So I'm going to fix that about as well as I can. Uh, Camelot also has a similar issue, so I'll deal with that too. Two city districts ought to do it. Uh, okay... 
Dawn Light, I think we're good on that now. Aurora, we're perfectly fine on for right now. But uh, we will need it soon enough. Acropolis, we should build some more. Uh, Sanctuary, we're kind of okay on for right now. Don't need to worry about it too much yet. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, so this is our side of the whole thing. Insulting Polisimen Envoy. It appears that a mischievous third party was able to hack into the translation software of the Polisimen Envoy to Felonday, Eyes of Silver. So that instead of uttering magnanimous platitudes, she began spewing vicious insults that left none unscathed. The, man, the malfunction in her equipment was duly uncovered, but not before Empress Anastasia I was declared to be a vile beast. A grave insult which surely calls for a response. I mean, I could go for the influence, which I don't necessarily need, or I can just be like, ah, that was funny. <laughs> it was a funny little oopsie doodle because I got the same treatment back. So, I mean, surely, surely, I might as well be nice to them, too. Even if I'm not exactly too fond of them. Okay. Yeah, it was funny. It was funny. It was a funny little goof. I just noticed everyone is flying in there at once now. Ketling Star Pack are trying to deal with it. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Interesting. That they're the ones trying to do that. Okay. Synthetic Thought Patterns is done, so... What should we do? Tomb World Adaptation or Resort Worlds? Resort Worlds seems... Eh, seems okay. But, Secrets of Life would be nice to have, considering I need to up our research into society anyway. Having the opportunity... Opportunity... Blah, 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 blah. Let me try that again. Having the opportunity to study the multitudes of life lets us find some common ground for all living beings. The foundational building blocks of life. Cool. Let's do it. I have a feeling they're not going to necessarily survive this attempt. Yep. I had a feeling. But, they do leave an opening for us to do the same thing. Actually, you know what? Where are they going? They're going right over there to do the same thing. That's right. I remember now. So, let's actually send them in to do that. Yeah. I like that idea. We'll just wait for them to pass by Sabaran space. Actually, you know, I just noticed that this inbound message going by. traffic. Spuxalax Star Nation. No, not. Yeah, no, no. Sorry. Not interested. Not interested. In the slightest. Alright. They're all leveled up. Good. Well, they are getting closer. Well, you know what? Have them start here. First Imperial Strike Force will take point. And then we will all go. For the Ruthari system. And there we go. Onward we go. All at once now.
let's see how we do. Ow, oh, the repealing research sanctions was passed. Damn it. Okay. Engaging I'm enemy station. To do about it. And they're doing well. Okay, we managed to get in. Good. With the defeat of the defenses surrounding the ancient structure, we may find a way to explore its mysteries. Entering and traversing it may be difficult, but whoever built it must have possessed technology we can hardly dream of. Making matters more arduous, the fortress appears to be recovering. Some of the people who helped disarm the fortress have volunteered to attempt entering and exploring it, with backup from the headquarters on Felende. Following through on our end will no doubt present its own challenges. Give the go-ahead. Despite the ages of technology separating us and the builders of the fortress, our inv one invention is timeless, a closed door. After having forced the fortress to shut down, we found all entrances sealed. The team dispatched to explore the fortress have found an airlock, which at least appears possible to open from the outside, if it had been in working order. We'll find someone to assist him. Okay. Uh, the Enigmatic Fortress. We can go with a demolitions team or a local power surge. So I need a science ship nearby to do that. Okay. Or I need an army ship to be in the system. Okay, well, either way. Let's see. Which one's closest? Marath Starship Brinkman is probably the closest we're going to have. So we'll have them help in a local power surge. And then in the meantime, we will have all of these ships getting reinforcements. Because they will, they will all need it. Pretty sure that's about the best I can do. Okay. Either way, we're going to be doing just fine. Okay. Construction complete. How quick until they get there? Shouldn't be too much longer. Oops, I just noticed the starbase is completed. It's upgrades. Where is the one? I don't know. Oh, it's upgrading to Star Fortress on this one. Okay. I don't know which one did the... Oh, Straya. That's right. I was having it upgrade to a fortress. I remember now. Okay. Well, the thing I need to put in there is not here yet. So I'll have to wait. Acropolis. Can now have a new building. Good. Well, in that case, expand these a little bit and have a, hmm, can't do a galactic stock exchange yet. So I guess we'll just do another, hmm, actually let's not do another one. Let's Throw in the first. Let's throw in the first mineral purification plant. There we go. That should help a little bit, since Acropolis does have a lot of mining districts. That will get us quite a bit of stuff going. Construction complete. Scum and villainy on Dawnlight. God damn it. Crime continues to be a problem on Dawnlight, and an extensive criminal underworld has now taken root on the planet. Okay, you're done there. That's good. Let's have you move to Zania. Build a star base there. Actually, let's make you do that first, instead of before you go back. Okay, and... Dawn light. Alright, got 
Damn it, I have to do this all over again after I thought I was done. Special project complete. Having stabilized the ship's connection to the power system of the fortress, we must decide how much energy to supply in the first surge. Since the technology is unfamiliar, the exact amount is difficult to determine. Two estimates are available. Go with the higher or the lower estimate. Let's go with the lower. At first, the amount of energy supplied to the fortress seemed too small to make a difference. Then, the area surrounding the airlock slowly started to show signs of functioning. With some mechanical tricks and guesswork, the team accessed the controls and managed to open the airlock itself. Although not by the cleanest docking procedure, they are now inside the fortress. Let's hope we can also get them out. Because that would be good to do that. The tower. The away team find their way blocked by a massive bulkhead. The team report that there is a recessed alcove to their right, housing a, a pedestal and a contraption wrought in the same black metal as the fortress itself. They believe this device is the key to opening the bulkhead. The leader of the explorers describes it as three upright poles spaced equidistant across the top of the pedestal with three rings, metal tori, of varying sizes placed around the leftmost pole, the smallest at the top and the largest at the bottom. Hmm. Search for torus-shaped indentations on the bulkhead. After the course of action was announced, a moment of silence followed, then vague scraping noises as the team attempted to carry out their plan. After another pause, faint shuffling and a draw-out, sharp sound increase in pitch over five seconds, then a long silence. It took us several minutes to accept that this was the end of the expedition. No screaming, no calls for aid. We can at least hope this means they met a quick end. After a quarter, a slow, heavy rasp suggests whatever trap sprung on them reset itself. Some present claim it sounded like alien laughter. Finally, the fortress managed an even more disturbing sound, that of the power returning to its defense system. Taking evasive action. Feck. Well, let's try it again. New sit rep. We'll find someone to assist the team. They managed to do it relatively well, relatively quickly. Research again, and we're going to have to turn off that. Because it's just going to continue being a pain if I let him continue leaving constantly. Construction complete. All right. Construction ship Kochab is done, which means they do that. Finish up. And then I guess they will finish at the nearest starbase, which is right there in Kerbal. Okay. Cool. All right. So give the go ahead. All right. New sit rep. That was weird, but all right. New sit rep. Okay. Why is it doing this constantly? Special project complete. Okay, go with the lower estimate. Oh, are you kidding me? New sit There's rep. I don't know why it's breaking, but it constantly breaks now. Construction complete. Stop it. Stop it, because Jesus, it's going to drive me insane. It's, it's, it's just going to keep getting bigger. All right. All righty. Until I at least complete the fortress. It's going to keep getting bigger. And it's, I don't know why it's breaking like this, but it's breaking. So, I don't know. The away team find their way blocked. Place metal rings around the remaining two poles. And that was a failure. Okay. Great. New go ahead. Rep. Assist the team. 
Good. Let's do this again. Research. So, okay. It's gonna keep doing that, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Special project complete. Go with the lower. There we go. Construction go complete. In. All right. And they're done. That's good. Have them finish up. And then go back to a starboard. Construction complete. Oh, hey. I can go with that. Absolutely. Stop it. It's just going to keep doing that. All right. That's annoying, but whatever. Rearrange the metal tori? Okay. Another time. This actually seems to work. Okay, good. Tower rebuilt. After the course of action was announced, a moment of silence followed, then vague scraping noises as the team attempted to carry out the plan. A scraping, a splashing sound, rather, so loud that at first you think the team has been swatted like small insects, is, found, is followed by cheers from the team as they report that a passage has opened. The bulkhead appears to have rapidly transformed into an unpleasant smelling liquid reminiscent of purple quicksilver. Combined with the relatively mundane puzzle mechanism, you have a feeling the team has been victims of an elaborate prank set up millennia ago. We can laugh about it, now at least. An elaborate prank, you say. I had at least two teams die to this prank. Really? Okay. Either way, it'll continue. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm gonna keep breaking like Science that. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. The pivot. The team reports that they have reached what appears to be the geometric center of the fortress, even if the internal geometry leaves some doubt if the concept of a center is even relevant in there. What is indisputably relevant is how the fortress is powered, which makes the team's new discovery all the more interesting. Dark matter is funneled around the fortress and then back to the core, like a cardiovascular system. Although the flow has stopped, the team has found signs that it's starting again. We can take all the time we want to study it, but it needs to be stopped now. We'll find a way. Supply dark matter or use force? Huh. Nearby systems, Miklor's Vortex issues a special product, a project, Black Hole Research. Use it, Rep. Interesting. Home system research, Black Hole Research. I need a science ship in the area. Those are options that are interesting. Home system research. Studying the local star might give some insight into the conditions the builders of the fortress started their work in. I can supply dark matter to trick the fortress that it's already running and stop the flow. I can fire a torpedo into the core to stop it from restarting. Or... I can research my own black hole and see how the answers might be available from that. Well, I do have a ship around a black hole in Miklor's Vortex, and I would be able to get there in time. Sure, let's do that. Shut up. There we go. Shield harmonics is complete. Good. Then let's go with flash coolant to increase energy weapon attack speed. 
but let's read that first before I do that. New developments in tech cooling regularly surface, improving the stub. <laughs> Let's try that again. New developments in tech cooling regularly surface, improving the stability and efficiency of our weapon systems, keeping them from blowing up the ships upon which they are mounted. Which is always good. And shield harmonics. The basic mechanics of ship shields are complex, but they can be adjusted and improved in multitude of ways. And most of the rest of them will say the same thing. So After this, I won't read any more of them. Okay. Well, so far so good. Shut up. It's gonna keep doing that until the whole thing is completed, I'm sure. Oy. It's gonna get annoying, but what else can I do? It's not much I can do, actually. Just wait for it all to be done. Whoa! Gang wars on Dawnlight. Come on! A bitter feud has been brewing for months between the two largest criminal organizations on Dawnlight, and it has now finally come to a head. Vicious fighting has erupted in streets and alleys across the planet, and it is rapidly spreading into residential areas. Our local security forces are doing what they can to contain the violence, but the sheer scale of the fighting has left them overwhelmed. I... I can't... I can't... I can't with this. I have... <laughs> I have a full damn thing there. And it just won't be left alone. What am I supposed to do? <sighs> Alright. As long as I can keep... A precinct house on every world. I'm going to have to do one on Sanctuary eventually. Then I might be able to keep this from getting worse. But there's no getting out of it. Just unending. Oh boy, do I need crystals. Boy, oh boy, do I need crystals. Do I have a spare construction ship in the area, because they seem to want to get at that Ruthari system, the Ketlings, and I want to get to it first, if anything. Okay. I do, in fact, have one close by. I just have to wait for them to get done, but then I can... Oh, wait, actually, they have nothing to do. I will move them there now. Stop! Science Division Doing that. reports a new breakthrough. Okay. Secrets of Life is completed. Good. Fantastic. Now let's do foreign soil enrichment. Because I don't see why not. Extensive study into different soil types and their ability to support crops will in help improve the living conditions of our settlers on foreign worlds. Which is always a good idea. <sighs> okay. I'm getting real tired of that bug constantly going on. Not ending, is it? Okay, I now have way too many consumer goods. <laughs> Didn't realize it had gotten that high. Jesus. Okay, uh, time to sell off as much of it as I can. Good. For not a lot of money. That's annoying. But, I mean, hey. Something. <sighs> of course. Gonna keep going until it's done. Oh. 
Time has run out. The enigmatic fortress has recovered from our initial assault and is once again starting up its defenses. Transmissions from the exploration team have already been scrambled, but they, their last transmission indicates that they met the fate they were prepared to risk. But not the one we hoped for. I had honestly hoped I would have gotten done faster with it. That wasn't... That wasn't the mission I wanted you doing. God fucking damn it. <sighs> New sit rep. Construction complete. Okay. And it's going to keep doing that one now, too. Okay, great, fantastic. New sit rep. Are you fucking for real? New sit rep. It, it, it won't. It won't get here in time. Because he keeps breaking. New sit rep. Science division reports a new breakthrough. New sit rep. Okay. All right. Senate floor is in session. What's it for? Repealing sanctions. Great. I'm the only one who's against it. All right. Fine. Whatever. Okay. We'll find someone to assist New the team. Rep. The Juggernaut is now capable of being built. Oh, that took too long. Okay. A mobile space base of unparalleled proportions. The Juggernaut ship class can offensive... Takes offensive warfare to a whole new level. <sighs> yeah. Alright. Let's build the Giga Cannon right after. Because it will be useful. An even more powerful mass accelerator cannon that can rip through even the toughest shields. Good. I like hearing that. Good, 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 good. And with that done, I can go to Straya and build the thing necessary for that. The Colossal Assembly Yards. Abandoning the traditional concept of dry docks, colossal spaceships are assembled by a number of highly mobile, independent construction platforms. It's about the best I can hope for. A gun it does. New sit rep. Again, it does this. Are you for real? It's. All right, folks. I'm going to have to face the music and the truth that the game is bugged. This particular iteration has been bugged all to hell. And I don't know how these bugs manifested because it doesn't make sense. I can no longer make defenses for my defensive, you know, defensive emplacements because defensive platforms won't be built. Why? I don't know. They just will not build on... Are you kidding me? They won't build on star fortresses, but they will build on these. That's not how that works. Or at least it's not supposed to be how it works. The Enigmatic Fortress keeps breaking, and I cannot do anything with it as long as it keeps breaking. I might have to face the fact that I need to do a redo of the redo. 
which pisses me off, especially with how much progress we've made. I have never seen the amount of issues that have happened in this map at all. Why they would happen, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. But I have to face the fact that it is happening and there's no way for me to stop it. So with that said, that's the end of this episode. Possibly the end of the series. Because I can't keep fighting with the game that clearly will just completely break on me. I will probably come back to this game sometime in the future. I definitely want to. This is a fun game when it works. Clearly, it doesn't want to work on this map. I don't know why. Maybe it was the downloaded DLC causing issues. I don't know. It shouldn't have, but it did. So, from here on out, we're going to have to end the episode. And the series for where this is. And I will come back to it. I promise that. I will come back to it. I just can't keep fighting with this. So. <sighs> Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Hopefully, if you guys know a fix for the bugs, let me know. But at this point, I'm just going to give up on this map and try again with another. But I don't know when I'll do that. So, this has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games, trying to fight the game and trying to play it and failing and trying to breach the enigmatic fortress but it keeps wanting to break as does everything else associated with it and hopefully I'll see you again in the next iteration of this game or whatever I throw in to replace it for you <laughs>